I'm aware of the places that was critical so we were able to get in contact with those persons and um, for instance this person here we were able to get in contact with him and we will be removing about six or seven vehicles away from this premises. Seven from one premises that's a lot right but we were more expecting like one or two from a premises. And how are people cooperating? Well um, they're very cooperative what we're looking at here are some more discarded refrigerators and there's an old vehicle there, we know the red one is going for certain. Um, in the background we're in a residential neighborhood so obviously you can hear the dogs uh, barking in the background, they're probably wondering what's going on as well. Well what's going on is the national cleanup campaign Come Clean Montserrat and we're in this location in Salem um, getting rid of all of these white goods as they're called so in a while from now we expect the dump trucks to be coming along and the heavy loaders to uh, get these things out of the way and uh, take them away to be discarded obviously for material like this the concern is that they are receptacles for stagnant water and this stagnant water that's where the problem lies for the breeding of mosquitoes uh, mosquitoes that could uh, lead to the chicken gunya virus it's an opportunity for people now who didn't get to move stuff to move them out now you know because when we come back next time it wouldn't be to tell you to remove stuff we'll be coming back to implement the law to let you know that we are serious you had an opportunity to move your stuff you should have moved, you should have moved. and we're going to charge you we're gonna, then we're gonna, i'm going to let you know now that if you do not take the opportunity that you have now to move the stuff when we come back to do our checks we are going to charge you there will be no compromise. This is being done over two weekends, this weekend and next week. And next weekend you're doing the Cars Bay, Davy Hill area up to Lookout. Right. Could you expand on that? Well, um, as you know, we started over here, Salem, Woodlands, St. Peter's, Kojo Head. So we split it in two. So next week now, next Saturday, we'll be moving into St. John's, Davy Hill area. Well, the whole St. John's area into Lookout and we'll be moving, we're doing the same thing, moving um, derelict vehicles and white goods. Now, the main concern for this campaign, yes, is to beautify the island, continue to do that, but more importantly, to get rid of the breeding places, mosquitoes that cause the chikungunya disease and also dengue fever. Just before you, 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 you respond to that, there's a concern that a lot of the uh, abandoned properties high-end properties in the Alveston woodland areas that had or have swimming pools that those also are potential massive breeding grounds what have you found there? For some of them we have found breedings in some of the, the swimming pools um, some of the properties are managed by the, um, the real estate companies right so in order for us to get into them we will have to contact the real estate company and find out who is the owner of these properties so then we can go in. Some of them are closed, yeah? And uh, we do not want to just enter into your property, although you may have certain authority, you know, but we, we need to get to the owners and let them know the conditions of the, the properties or the um, pools and so on, so they need to get them popped out. And, uh, so that, that is a concern of yours? That's a, that's a concern of mine. And um, for right now, in terms of the cleanup, the chicken gonia that is spreading throughout Montserrat, I mean, it's not as bad as some countries, but we have to take a stand now. We cannot wait. How do you make the arrangements to pick up the cars? Do they call you? Oh, they can't get the police and the police might go and put X's. Right? Okay, good. And then you pick up those. And then you pick up the X's. Right. So, what are you doing for the rest of the day? You've got a lot more stuff to take yeah, away? Yeah, we have an old barrel, a couple of more cars. In Granville. So, what do you think about the cleaning up that's, that's taking place? It's a very good gesture. Right? Yes. Okay. And it, it helps to keep the place clean, take up the garbage, the old garbage, the old fridge, old cars, old um galvanize and so on and uh, what have you been putting out did you have a lot of stuff to put no, out yourself I put today out, i put out some old galvanized and then an old toilet tank and so on. yeah okay. you, you think that um, this 
big one that we are having that it should be the final one or do you think that we have a lot more work to I, do? I think we have, you, you all have a lot more work to do. Okay. Yeah, because there's a lot of rubbish all over, not only in banks but other areas. I know that they're talking about um, after this campaign to start fining people, putting penalties if the yards are not kept clean to get rid of the mosquitoes. What do you think about yes, that? Yes, I think that something should be done because if something is not done, we're going to have more garbage all around the place and we're going to have more diseases and stuff. Yes.